In the last chapter, we spent a good amount of time learning about the intricacies and inner workings of individual cells. And cells are fascinating to study individually. Uh, one of the things that makes them even more interesting, though, is the fact that they can work together. And what we're going to be doing in this chapter is going down that avenue. We're going to be seeing how cells work together in order to make up larger things like the human body. So that's where we're headed. We're going to spend a lot of time in this chapter exploring the four primary tissue types. We'll define what a tissue is. We'll spend most of our time describing these four different tissue types. And then we'll also take a look at some examples of organ systems and um, ultimately organ systems are what make up the human body. So we'll wrap up this chapter um, on that note. So let's go ahead and get started with a basic definition for tissues. What do we mean when we use this word tissue? A tissue is a group of similar cells that are all working together to accomplish something. So we have to be talking again about cells that are of the same type, the same variety, Variety, and they have to be located together um, nearby so that they can communicate with each other. So a good example of a tissue would be the tissue that makes up the heart. Um, this would actually be an example of muscular tissue. It's, it's made of muscle and it is capable of contracting and that contraction allows the heart to pump blood. So this is something that individual cells are not capable of, right? Individual cells would not be able to pump blood necessarily, but if you put enough of them together and if they work together and if they coordinate, then they are capable of this this larger function. So that's what we mean by a tissue, a group of similar cells that are working together. There are four major different types of tissues in the human body, and we're going, going to learn each of these. We'll go through them in order. Uh, first, we'll start off with epithelial tissue, and then connective tissue, muscle tissue, and nervous tissue. These are the four major tissue types, and you'll need to know about each of them. Once we learn about the tissue types, we're going to see how tissues can work together to give us organs, and then organs can work together to form organ systems, and ultimately there are 11 organ systems that make up the human body.